G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a lovely fresh evening, it's another video, I thought I'd get back in there since the night vlogs seem to be doing rather, rather well and uh, everyone seems to be happy about them, so I thought I'd do some more, how are we all doing, how are we all doing, it's cold, it's, it's cold, not as cold as uh, some of the other countries in the world that have to ride in, I know England and some of the states have some cold ones, but usually I think England, oh not England, I think America should be getting into its uh, warmer seasons now, but uh, we're starting to get into the freshy, freshy ones, so enough bitching and mining the bed, and let's boogie. Woo! Hello, car, do you want to go any faster? Hello. Alrighty. So I have another lovely topic today. It's sort of uh, piggybacking off the other video I did about the motor vlogs. And today's one is more about why we do the motor vlogs as opposed to, you know, are they coming back or are they dying? <laughs> also, there's a nice bright light over there. I don't know what's going on over there, but that is quite, quite obvious. Alright. So, today's topic why do we do motor vlogs well why do i do motor vlogs because <clears throat> i'd imagine my reasons are very similar to some of the other youtubers out here doing videos as well so i might as well make it a blanket statement and invite everybody in and if you do motor vlogs yourself leave a comment down below and let me know your reasons or if you just leave, even if you just record for yourself and don't upload them i want to know because everyone's got a reason and i want to know yours all right you fool so We'll start off with my main one, alrighty. So when I got into my motorbikes, I was all about it, so I just wanted to share, you know, my experiences with other people. Albeit, not many of them watched in the beginning, but that's the joys of YouTube. You gotta slowly build up, or sometimes you get blessed and get an overnight success, and life goes on. So just sharing the experience of motorcycle riding and joining in on the community is one of the bigger things, I'd say, because community is really what makes everyone interested in most things, because if you find someone interested in what you're interested in, you go, hey, I like that too. Bitch, yeah, let's be friends, all right? <laughs> Something along those lines. So that's the joys of the motorcycle community. Everybody's usually nice, except for some of the patched Harley guys, but you know, we don't talk about those ones. <laughs> Everyone laughs about them. Mate, everybody knows a patched Harley guy that's angry at you on the road is really just begging for a kiss, all right? So make sure you blow on what kiss every time they get angry at you. Okay, another good reason about like, why we all motor vlog is because it's just it's a fun thing to do now look i did motor vlogs for quite a while and i didn't really get any views and that was fine to me because i just enjoyed the act of doing something and recording the ride because at least <clears throat> well let's say you got your memories on there god forbid anything happens for you, you got videos of you doing cool stuff your friends can have a watch your family can have a watch man it was just it was just nice to record and have memories and see places i've been or um, what else can I say on that topic? Just rides I haven't rides I've experienced in the past, etc., etc. Like anything along those lines. Oh, mate, it's a grand old time. I can't see. My pen lock has fogged up. <laughs> Give me a second. I need to defrost my visor. And I can see again. <laughs> oh man. It's certainly an adventure seeing how much you change. There's a bit foggy here. Oh, it is fresh along this line because it's a big open bloody field to the left of me. Woohoo! Oh, it feels like winter again. Oh, I can definitely feel a more energetic than I was before. <laughs> Man, I tell you, motor vlogging is good because I like looking back at what the rides I used to do or how I used to ride and what's changed and my attitude towards certain things. My opinions on certain things have changed for sure. Like, I never used to like sports bikes and now I love them. And I'm sure I used to complain about them in my videos in the beginning, but, uh, well, not anymore. I like them now. Do I ride them now? Well, I can't afford them, but I wouldn't mind one on the side. But, hey, cruisers and nakeds are pretty hot these days, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, we're getting stuck at all kinds of lights today, which is completely fine. I enjoy a little bit of a nighttime ride around this spot. It is a nice, uh, lit up area, at least, for vlogging at nighttime, which is why my nighttime motor vlogs will probably stay along this route. Now, you've seen this route a lot in one of my other videos, because I usually just come back from work and then film around a certain... It's about the old, um, 10-ish minute vlog mark. And then, um, I finish my ride home after that. But at the moment, this is a really nice road to ride on for vlogs, because it's just... It's so well lit, so we're going to stay to it, you know? <laughs> it's beautiful. Man... Another good joy of motor vlogging is it gets you in the habit of recording your rides anyway, so if you have an accident or something along those lines, at least you have evidence of what it is. So it's nice to always bring my camera around and at least the audio, so if there's something bad that happens, I have it on footage. Now I've had, fortunately, not too many near misses whilst vlogging, which is great because 
I haven't had to need it, but God forbid if something bad does happen, at least I've got the camera rolling, you know what I mean? It's just one of those double positives, because I record for the fun of it, I enjoy the YouTube community, and obviously everyone at the end of the day, you don't start uploading to YouTube unless you're purely doing it for your friends and family, like everybody at the end of the day is trying to build a little community for themselves, and I think I have started to do that. So I'm very, very thankful that everyone's here. I've been making a nice little motor vlog with people and commenting on it. That's a good stuff. I like to share my opinions. I don't shut up. I'm a big of a, a bit of a shit talker. You might have deciphered that from my uh, vlogs. I'm a bit of an asshole. <laughs> All right. So I enjoy sharing my opinions and hearing people respond. I've got one or two people that have really said negative things here or there. And like, you know what? I love it. I love it. People give me hate comments. I love it. You think you're gonna make me upset? No, 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 no. I, I, I long for it. Except for one, there was one in the Discord that complained about something or other because they were trying to advertise one of their streams and I deleted the comment and then she went on an absolute tear in a bunch of videos not understanding that sharing your streams in other people's Discords is a bit, you know, how you go. It's a bit taboo, a bit of a no-no, a bit uh, bad manners as it was. But um, oh, it's a damn shame though. It was a good conversation before that. So I don't like having to, uh, do certain things, but it was a bit of an extreme reaction on that part, but oh well. I enjoy building the community to have these moments happen. Because if I only had Discord with one person in it, well, you wouldn't have any cool stories. Now that I have the Discord with a few people in it, I can talk about some funny things that happen. Oh, delicious. Oh, hello, Audi. That guy's flying, mate. But I still beat you. <laughs> Hey, but so if, you, if you're new ready, come join the Discord, have a good time, have a laugh. We all have fun over there. And otherwise, um, well, there is a Reddit, but uh, it's a bit quiet these days. But don't worry, we'll grow it, we'll grow it. No rush, no rush, no rush. But definitely for the motor vlog side of things, man, I love it. All right? I just enjoy documenting our things. I love talking about things. I love showing off cool things, cool adventures, cool rides. Now, to please the shorts viewers who comment, yes, slow rides, I know it's a Honda Rebel, mate, relax, I'm not a speed demon, but I do my best. <laughs> I didn't buy a bloody Honda Rebel to hit land speed records. If I did, I would have been a pretty stupid buyer. But here we go, we move, all right? That's just uh, the way the cookie crumbles, mate. So, get on the bike, start motor vlogging is uh, sort of what I wanted to do. My girlfriend used to enjoy, like, well, I don't know if she still watches many of my videos, but she likes to watch a few of my videos and then see what the rides are, because it's a bit like that. So one of the big reasons I'd say you'd probably get into uh, motor vlogging is, so sharing your opinions is fun, sharing your rides is fun, uh, and all that cool stuff. But one thing that people don't seem to understand is, this is what I was mentioning in the last video, um, motor vlogging is a big part of inspiring the new generation of riders, all right? Now look, I'm not gonna take it as I am the be all end all of riding YouTube content creators, and you should watch me and be inspired by me, but. Even if there's one person who's been inspired to buy a motorcycle and ride, I'm happy about it. Now, I generally try to keep my riding pretty uh, sensible on my YouTube channel. I'm not a big demon of a rider, mainly because the uh, Australian police are going to ruin me if I do, because they have done that to YouTubers in the past. So by all things considered, I'm a sensible rider, especially on YouTube. Which is, there's no downside, because when you're motor vlogging, you are talking more, so your brain is occupied. Someone's having a barbecue and it smells delicious. <clears throat> Let's go make sure we cycle past the cyclist. <laughs> I love doing that. Now, just once, I want one cyclist to pull up next to me and laugh about it, but I'm sure they all think I'm a prick for doing it. <laughs> but I always try and cycle my legs walking past cyclists or riding past them at least. But yeah, as I was saying, even if I can inspire just one lad or lass to get, get on the bike and ride sensibly within their limits and not crash and just have a grand old time i would take that as an absolute victory because man i see it it's fun all right i was inspired from watching my old youtubers so and then my mate got a bike and then threatened me with uh my bullshit and saying oh i was like i'll buy one away he goes i'll see you in 10 years and then i'm like all right bet and i bought one in six months so there's all, all kinds of riders we all ride because we enjoy the two-wheeled lifestyle we all enjoy the uh experience the freedom the wind in our hair as it was even though we illegally have to wear helmets in australia which is not a bad thing i don't know why you wouldn't wear one bugs alone are one reason i would not wear um or no helmet <laughs> but yeah it's just a grand old experience that we want everyone to get in and to share so i'm so happy even if one person is happy to come ride 
Now, I've been recognized once in public, okay? I had about 336 subscribers at the time, and I got recognized at a bike night, which was insane, because holy shit, I had 300 subscribers. How is anyone recognizing a small YouTuber like myself? So, forgive me for being a little bit like, holy crap, I was a bit dumbfounded by the fact that existed, but I was like, that is nuts! So, that was awesome, I got recognized once, and he goes, I was looking up a lot of Revel mods and Revel videos, and I was like, you know what? That's awesome. Unfortunately, he low-sided a few days ago or a week ago, so I feel bad for him, but no, he's doing all right. But, as long as I can get someone out here who messages me or talks to me on Discord, or if you run up and see me in public, salute at your boy, especially if you're riding. Don't give me the bike wave or the nod. Give me a salute. It's a lot easier to recognize the viewers if you're uh, doing something out of the ordinary. Because I know a few of you definitely ride the same way I ride quite often, especially because I work out certain ways, and I've had a few guys say, I recognize this road, and one of them sent me a clip of him going through said intersection. So, if you are out my way, salute your boy. If you see me in public, <coughs> brother, I am so happy to talk to you. I'll be more impressed that you recognize me than anything. So, if you see a Honda Rebel with a dented tank and a dickhead with a golden helmet, <laughs> you know who to come for. But, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, I'm happy about everything. YouTube and road vlogging it's all a fun time all right so as long as we're all doing it and enjoying ourselves well there's no reason to stop motor vlogging is fun it's enjoyable for everybody so that's why i do it and i won't stop doing it because i am having a grand deal time but ladies and gentlemen that's all i have time for today i hope you've all enjoyed today's topic please leave a comment down below let me know about what's going on in your riding experiences and whatnot if you wrote a vlog let me know why and uh, what got you into it and why you stick to it. But if you just do it for yourself or if you do it to YouTube, I'm happy. Don't worry. I won't get mad this time. You're allowed to tell me if you mode a vlog on YouTube. I won't, I won't call you out for, se for shilling yourself. <laughs> oh, those pops are making me moist. Mm, I like, my exhaust pops quite a lot. But ladies and gentlemen, that is it. I hope you've all had a grand old time. Look at these beautiful lights. They make me happy. These are my favorite colored tree lights. But take it easy. In fact, keep it cheesy and have a good time. Peace, bye.